Now this is exercise 5.6, simplification of algebraic fractions. Simplify the following algebraic fraction, part A, x upon 4 plus x upon 3. First of all, because the denominator are not same, we cannot directly add or subtract to further simplify. First, we need to find the LCM of the denominators. The LCM of 3 and 4 is 12, because they are mutually prime. So no need to do any calculation, just simply multiply. Then divide the LCM 12 by the first denominator 4. So you get 3. Multiply the denominator by 3. So you get 3x. Then divide the LCM by 3. So you get 4. Multiply the denominator by 4. Second question. So 4x. So you get 3x upon 12, 4x upon 12. Now because the denominators are same, we can directly add and the result, final result will be 7x, 7x upon 12 is the final answer of this question. Okay, next question, we have uh, 3a minus 2 upon 4 minus 2a minus 3 upon 6. So because the denominator are not safe for we have to find the LCM of 4 and 6. So the LCM of 4 and 6 I've done in the table 2 and the next column 4 comma 6 2 to the 4 2 to the 6 so you don't have to proceed further just take the LCM LCM would be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 12 so we write we divide the LCM 12 by 4 we get 3 and multiply them later 3a minus 2 by 3 so we get 3 into 3a minus 2 upon 12 then divide the LCM by the second denominator 6. 6 is a 12, 2. Multiply the denominator of the second fraction by 2. 2 into 2a minus 3. Then apply the distributive property. Open the bracket. So we'll get, this is actually, first we, because the denominators are same, we combine these two fractions. So we'll get 3 into 3a minus 2, minus 2 into 2a minus 3 upon 12. We have combined these two fractions. Then apply the distributive property 3 into 3, 9, 9, 8. And then 3 into minus 2, minus 6. Minus 2 into 2 is equal to minus 4a. And minus 1 plus 2, 3 is a 6. Then rearrange the term, we'll get 9a minus 4a minus 6 minus plus 6. So minus 6 plus 6 will cancel. And then we'll get 5a upon. 12. This is the final answer of this question. Then the last, next part, we have x plus 1 upon 3 plus 5x minus 2 upon 5 minus 2 into x minus 1 upon 6. First, you have to find the LCM of 3, 5, and 6. So 3, and in the second column, 3, comma 5, comma 6, divided by 3, 3, 1, the 3. Write 5 as it is because 5 is not divisible by 3, then 3 to the 6. So no need to proceed further. The LCM would be 3 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 2. That is 3 1 the 3, then 3 5 to 15, 15 to the 30. So then we divide the LCM by the first denominator 3, 3 10 the 30. Multi multiply the numerator by 10, we will get 10 into x plus 1 upon. 30 then plus divide the LCM 30 by 5 5 6 and 30 will get 6 6 into 5x minus 2 upon 30 then minus then we divide the LCM 30 by 6 6 is 30 and because 5 is already outside the bracket so we will multiply 5 with 2 we get 5 to the 10 10 into x minus 1 upon 30 then we will combine these Fractions because the denominator is same, you can combine them. So we we'll write 10 into x plus 1 plus 6 into 5x minus 2 minus 10 into x minus 1 upon 30. Okay, then furthermore, because now open the bracket, apply the distributive property 10 into x, 10x, then 10 into 1, 10 was the 10, then 6 is the 30, 6 to the 12 minus 12, plus minus minus, 
that minus 10 into x minus 10x and minus 10 into minus 1 minus 1 plus plus 10. Then, re then rearrange the term, black term will be written together. So then you get 10x plus 30x minus 10x plus 10 minus 12 plus 10. I have varying these terms. Then 10x and minus 10x cancel, you'll get 30x. Then 10 plus 10, 20, 20 minus 12, 8. So the final result is 30x plus 8 upon 30. We can simplify it further because 2 is common in the numerator and denominator. So we can further simplify. So you can, but there is no need because fractions are simplified. So because we haven't done fractions up till now, you can do in the examination, cancel by 2, both numerator and denominator. So you will get, let me write, but that you will get actually, let me write over here, you will get, If you divide the enemy, both numerator and denominator by 2, you will get fifteen x and the numerator, fifteen x and then plus four upon fifteen. This is the final answer. If you take cancel by two both numerator and denominator. So this could be the answer, 15x plus 4 upon 15. No, no, no further simplification can be done. Or you can leave 30x plus 8 upon 30. Okay. So this is all about for this lesson. Thank you.